Mr. Jones, detecting adventures. We've arrived on location. We're in the caravan now, all set up nicely. So we've got his office ready for action. So this is our, or should we say, we'll call it camp base. We've arrived on ploughed land up in North Yorkshire. See, turn. Uh, that's, that could be metal, I've just heard it. Uh, iron. I'll well, just check it and see. That might be though. Do you think it's a big piece of iron? Yeah. Got pinpoint. Can you need to get your pinpointer? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, the big piece of iron. It's coming up now. There you go. Size yeah. of that, Ken. Oh, what uh, the heck's that? It's an axe, isn't it? Uh, a big hammer thing and there's you know one of the old hammers like a sledgehammer a bit longer but this is what i found Vic victorian penny nothing to shout about but it's a victorian um and then we found a couple of georgia third half pennies 17th century, uh, it's one le one loop of a, of a glasses. So 17th century loop glasses. So they probably joined up, double up or that way up, I think. You know, and they had two, like that. That's how you... Gas tap uh, switch or whatever they call it. Solid brass. What's the size of that? Uh, that's going to go to the brass bucket. <laughs> There we are in this field here. We've had loads of hammered out of here, loads of artifacts out of here, going back in time, and we're next door to a Roman road, which is interesting. Yeah. What have you got? Uh, I think it's a farthing. Copper coin. Uh... Ah, it looks like a farthing size, doesn't it? We'll have to clean it up and uh, see what it is later, Ken. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. done, Ken. Unless you got a coin. <laughs> we just um, entered a car park, and just for your information. I guess what we've got, a horse with all the different buckles. And I just thought, this is an education for us guys who find loads of different type of brass buckles so that we can identify what they are. And because I found loads and I always wondered where they went. So if I can just show you where they all went, uh, I hope the horse doesn't bite me. There we go, look, so there's your buckles, chaps. Look, these are what we're finding in the ground. Can you see them? There, and that's that big plaque at the above there. That's one of these here, look. I got three of them the other day, and I wonder where it went. And all the different types of decorations that we find, and all the different type of designs. I hope you're paying attention. But this is where they go on the horse, and then all the different loops that we find. Look at this, this is amazing. And educating chaps, look, look at that. And I've just found a big buckle. Can you see that big buckle? I just found that the other day, that massive buckle absolutely huge now we know where it goes absolutely amazing and then all the different type of buckles and shapes all where they placed on the horse amazing i mean i've just had about five of these the other day out of where i where I come from look at that so this is where they're all fastened amazing and then probably some of these will go under the belly of the of the horse Oh wow, I've got, I've got a bucket full of these, bucket full, absolutely bucket full. So this is all the different buckles, chaps. And then this is what it looks like, all done, look. Look, very, very smart, very smart. It's a, it's a Celtic design cross, as you can see. But it's to commemorate the soldiers who died in the uh, First World War. But that's a Celtic design, as you can see all the different type of designs. So what we're going to do now, it's shortly is we're gonna walk down to the medieval church just to show you that it's a very historical place here. So, uh, if you just have a look down here then, Ken, it's, um, it's for Kirby Hill soldiers in the First World War down there from 1914 to 1918. Oh, let's see if we're here. What a brilliant church, superb. It's got Commonwealth war graves, and let's have a quick nosey. That's what I say. A quick nosey at this church. What a cracking church. Beautiful. And there's people obviously resting your feet going back 
hundreds of years, hundreds. All buried here and up to the present time, I think, as well. So, absolutely amazing. What a beautiful place. And, and I see you can see the fields there. See the fields in crop? This is a field I'd like to get on. So the medieval church, that's a field, not allowed on that one, but we are detecting not far off. I, I found uh, a farthing of G George the Third, the 1806 or something like that. Um, a big uh, 17, 18th century button. So that seems to be a big piece of pottery there, uh, quite thick, so I think that's quite old, I think it's medieval and beyond medieval, I think. That could be really old, that piece of, uh, it's not worth anything, but I thought I'd just mention it as history thing. Oh yeah, look, it's got some design on that, which isn't too bad, I suppose. You can just see on that, there's a bit of a shield. Can you just see that, a bit of a shield? This particular coin is not... Uh, I think that's some sort of uh, a small gaming token of George III, and and they usually gold plated, uh, and they use them for when they're betting. You know, uh, uh, a gold plated one represents a guinea, uh, but they wouldn't play. They, they didn't play real. But, but if you can see shield on it, forgery, isn't it? It's forgery. Well, it's either a forgery or a gaming token, but you can see that it's got like a shield in it. Well, that's definitely George III.